This rather grand building over here, we really need to, uh, to mention, is St Giles Cathedral. This is the back of St Giles, but regarded as the mother kirk uh, in Scotland, and certainly a very important place in Edinburgh. And of course, in those days, uh, we're talking about three or four hundred years ago, it was very important that you paid uh, the clergy to pray for you uh, in eternity so that you are actually going to be going straight from here to heaven, ideally, rather than linger in purgatory for very long. Was it originally a Protestant church, or did it start? It, it, it was started as, a, as a, a Roman Catholic church, but then during the Reformation, uh, this was very important and key place. Uh, anything that was regarded as, as idolatrous or um, was seen as a, as a tear between the people and, and God uh, was stripped away. So the idea, the notion of having uh, canons or priests, uh, they, were, they were the people who actually told you what was in the good book. They were the people who actually interpreted the word of God on your behalf. And of course the Reformation was the opportunity to strip all of that away and to make sure that people had access. Of course they had to learn to read and write then. So the, the prayer book became very important and allowed people to actually read the word of God for themselves and to make their own interpretation. And John Knox was very much the father of the Reformation. And he, and he spoke here on many occasions. And John Knox's house is actually on the high street itself here in Edinburgh, where he spent some time. Not sure that he lived there, but certainly he did spend some time there.